Hey guys, bringing you a video today um, with how to remove your headlight housing on a fifth gen Ram. I have to remove this one because this new upgraded headlight I got got all filled with moisture. Um, so they sent me a replacement for free. So I got to just swap those out. Um, but it's it's not hard. I've, <laughs> I've done it a few times already. Um, it's all pretty simple. Now I am doing this video kind of in junction with a um, LED fog light upgrade where basically you take out this halogen fog light housing and you remove it from the bracket and this and the fog lights I purchased are meant to fit this bracket perfectly so they are just a direct replacement. So if you want to check that one out go to my channel and watch that video as well. First step to getting your headlight housing out is your hood. Flip that up. Now you're going to have this plastic bezel that goes over the whole top of this. You're going to want to pop out. There's pop clips. There's uh, one up here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. So pop those out. Um, this is just kind of, it hooks around a little bracket that's on above your uh, fan shroud. So you just push it backwards and pull it up and it comes right out. All right, guys. So the best way to pop these things out, if you've never done it before, um, I bought a tool kit for it and a whole kit with extra of these to replace any because sometimes they do break depending on how many times, times you've taken them out or if it's cold. You can do it with a flathead screwdriver. I would just be really careful because if you're prying on it and you don't want to nick anything, that's you don't want to. But basically, you just stick this under this little spot to get it started. Start prying it up. Put the tool underneath it. Pull it up. You actually don't have to take it all the way out like I just did. But, and then you just get under the, the bottom part and pull the whole thing out like that and you're all set to go. There you go, they're all out. Now removing this part is pretty easy. Just gonna push it back here. The edges are in a little bit under the fender, so you gotta kinda just bend it up and around. Same on the other side. Now it's free. Just push it back, put it up here out of the way usually. You have this chrome piece, is one big long skinny piece that goes along the top. There's 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on. So there's, there's 13 of those. Um, so just zip those all out and then this piece will slide out. Now, once all your 10 millimeter bolts are out, um, also just to know the longer ones go in the back parts that hold the main part of the grill and the short ones are just for this and the headlight. So we're gonna take this piece off. Basically over here, it just sits right over the, there's a part on the headlight, same with right here. So this just pulls outward. You gotta pop it up and over. Pull this piece straight out, like so. As you can see it has this little piece that goes into a kind of a female end in the inside of that fender. So when you put it back in, you gotta make sure it goes in correctly. But we're gonna put this to the side. So as you can see, now we're ready to take this guy out, which basically we've got the screws out of the top. So the top's not locked in, but the bottom is. So first we're gonna do is take off this plastic trim piece. Um, it's pretty simple. There's a few screws right under here um, that you're gonna wanna take out to get the liner pulled back a little bit. And then you have one screw that goes down through here, a bolt, 10 millimeter bolt. Take that out, you can pop it out, it comes right out. Now for under here, um, there's four of these little bolts you're gonna wanna take out. I found a 5 16 was the best size for that. So you can see here, these are the four locations. So there's one of these right here, here, and then the two on this front piece. So we got those two out, let's finish taking them out. <laughs> So, next part to do is if you look up here, now we gotta pop this piece off. First, what we gotta do is there's a 10 millimeter bolt that goes down through a piece of uh, supporting metal here, it goes down into this piece from this piece, basically. You're gonna wanna grab your, your liner that we just freed up, wiggle it out, pop 
push it back until it's out of the way enough. See it right there? Right there above my finger. There you go. Now when you're taking off this piece here, there's a little piece in here that it's like, because this has a lip here. You actually have to pull down there's a little piece of metal here underneath it. You gotta pull it down to kind of release the tension so you can get it out. Just super easy or else it's not gonna pull out that easily. And then basically it's just all clips the rest of the way down. So just nice and easy, especially if it's cold, pop it out. All the way down, as you can see, they got, I think these are like alligator clips or something like that. So you have three 10 millimeter bolts down here. As you can see, one, two, three, pop these all out. There we go, make sure you don't lose those. And the last thing you gotta remove is this 10 millimeter bolt right here. And that holds that bottom corner of the headlight in. So I've done this a few times. Um, I highly suggest you remove the whole grill. So you want to, that would require removing the whole other headlight. Um, well, you don't have to remove all of it, but you have to get that plastic piece off so you can get this corner. Because this is the bracket for coming off the grill that covers the headlight side of it. So if you can, if you've done it a few times, you know how to do it. But really you want to wiggle this out. Now, I did, the first time I tried this, I did break this piece a little bit, so it has some play, which it shouldn't. That's the, really the only reason I can wiggle this out like this now, because it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt anything with how the grill is. Nothing shakes, or it's fine, luckily. I, I can kind of get away with just barely pulling the grill out a little bit and then wiggling this out. I would highly suggest just removing the whole grill first. There'll be one little plug on this far side. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. Um, that's for the little marker amber light. Look behind here, and then this is what would be on your stock gun. It's just this plug. Now your headlight's free. Now, if, when you're done with this, you want to reinstall the headlight for whatever reason or your new headlight. Uh, remember, the grill's going to be out. That plate for the headlight's going to go right behind this. Um, this is the play I was talking about, but it's not really detrimental to anything, so I didn't really go about fixing it. Um, so then that'll go there. You're gonna put that 10 millimeter in this hole right here. Once it's in, you're plugging in your main harness and your small marker light. Then you're gonna put the headlight in, put your three bolts down here, that one there obviously. Put your, install your white trim back in. You can see that bolt hole is right here. So up through top, down. Put your liner back in, back up here. Put that trim piece, the chrome piece, then you can start putting your 10 millimeter bolts in the top of this. Then you can put that piece and all your clips and you're all set to go.